This is Doug Brunk reporting from the annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology in San Diego. Mounting data from a federally funded follow-up study continue to demonstrate that hydroxyurea is a safe and effective treatment for young children with sickle cell disease. Dr. Zora Rogers presented the findings during a press briefing. Dr. Rogers, could you please highlight the key findings of this follow-up study? Those children who were taking hydroxyurea had fewer admissions to the emergency room for painful crisis, fewer admissions overall to the hospital, um, less need for transfusion, as well as lower but not yet statistically significant differences in the number of admissions to the hospital for acute chest syndrome or painful crisis. So overall what this study really shows is that if you continue to take hydroxyurea, whether or not you started it early in infancy or at three years of age, you continue to have a significant clinical benefit. Could you discuss the, the clinical implications of these findings? You, you perceive this as a game changer, potential game changer. We think this has changed the way we will treat sickle cell disease in the developed world. We do not need to reserve hydroxyurea any longer for those who are most severely involved. We can begin it at a young age, prevent problems, and we hope in continued follow-up to be able to demonstrate preventing organ damage with the early initiation of hydroxyurea. What we are suggesting is that as young as one year of age, children with sickle cell anemia and their families discuss with their doctors the use of hydroxyurea. The ongoing follow-up data shows that you don't have to reserve it for having problems. You may want to use it to prevent problems. Any comments on what the future holds for this follow-up study? At the present time, we're in final negotiations with the NHLBI um, and the NICHD to continue the follow-up study for another five years. The children are currently school age. We would like to follow them through puberty to see that there are not any unexpected side effects of the early initiation of hydroxyurea therapy. And more importantly, to use this data in support um, of a potential FDA indication for the use of hydroxyurea in very young children. Thank you.